Before the end of the year, we're going to be doing some structural testing on the platform. And the background to this is that leading up to the 34th America's Cup in San Francisco, there was a tragedy with the Swedish team. After that tragedy, the America's Cup community, the teams, and the event organizers really sat down and took a, a much harder look at safety. One of the things that came out of that is it's now a requirement within the America's Cup rule that you do some significant structural testing on your platform before the measurement committee will give you a certificate to allow you to race your boat in the America's Cup in the eliminations. That you'll basically with hydraulics or other means pull on the boat to represent as close to you as you can the actual sailing loads, not only when you're just sailing along racing, but also the dynamic loads of when you have events on the boat, like when you come off of the foils and the bows dive into the water, the kind of things that create the extreme loads on the boat. So the, the yachts have been designed to a certain set of load cases, and that's how we come up with the structure of the yachts and the load testing tries to replicate those loads in real life on the yachts before they are allowed to go sailing. Our test method is going to be right side up with basically a dummy pole where the wing is and the actual rigging of the boat and then with hydraulics and gravity and different support systems we basically uh, apply the loads on the boat as close as we can to when it's sailing. These boats are pushing the limits and San Francisco proved that. We're sailing these boats around at 35 or 40 knots all the time and really pushing the boundaries and having the whole team and the event and particularly the sailors on board, you know, giving them that extra level of confidence and the reliability is very important. I mean, we just have to do everything we can to avoid any tragedy like happened in the 34th America's Cup.